Hey, everybody, welcome back to TarHillIllustrated.com, or if you're watching us on our YouTube channel, which is almost at 17,000 subscribers, that is called Tar Heel Illustrated. I'm THI publisher Andrew Jones, and the topic today is very simple breaking news. Van Allen Lubin, a six foot eight, 230 pound forward who spent this past season at Vanderbilt has committed to play at North Carolina. He has two years of eligibility remaining. He spent his first year at Notre Dame, but Mike Bray moved on, so he moved on. Then he went to Vanderbilt. Jerry Stackhouse was fired. Then uh, then Alan Lubin then hit the portal a couple weeks ago, and visit started Tuesday at North Carolina, and here he is committing to play at UNC with two years of eligibility left. And I guess that would be a very long stint for him, given the way things have played out the last couple of years. So what kind of player is Hubert Davis getting? Before we get into that, very quick reminder, for just $8.33 a month, you can be a Tar Heel Insider too. You would have access to everything that we do on our site, including the ton, I mean, crap load, the plethora of Intel that we post on the boards, along with the very intelligent discourse of our premium subscribers. And this goes for football, for basketball, recruiting stuff, portal stuff, and obviously the teams themselves, the Tar Heels of Mac Brown and the Tar Heels of Hubert Davis. We post a ton of stuff in there and in premium content that you can only access for just a measly $8.33 a month. Same price it's been since I took over the site August 1st, 2014, almost 10 years ago. Nothing else is the same price, but we are. So what kind of value is Hubert Davis getting from then Alan Lubin? A couple of things that have jumped out to me of the film of his that I've watched, the games I've watched. He's very, very fundamentally sound. He's a very efficient player, efficient movement, efficient use of the ball, efficient with his screening. Everything he does is is the personification of efficiency for a big man. And I think he has to be that way, given the fact he's a little undersized for someone that plays on the lower block. But I want to make very clear, and I've talked to some other people who have watched him play as well, whose opinions I tremendously respect. He's six foot eight, but he plays six ten. He has a seven foot one wingspan. He's got broad shoulders, broad hips. He can nudge a big man. People are so concerned about him defensively. And you know what? Sometimes people are going to score over. It happens. But he can nudge a guy out. So that 6'10", 6'11", guy he's guarding that might like that little turn and jump hook from seven feet might have to take it from nine feet now. And that's a big difference. And that's something that was missing in the backup role in 2022. We saw it in the national title game. And that's something that will be important with this group because they don't have that super long rim protector unless Jalen Washington somehow morphs into that guy. There are some attributes there that could lead him in that direction, but we haven't seen it yet. And we can only go by what we've seen from these guys. Carolina also gets someone who can step out and hit that 12-foot jumper. He can also hit three-pointers. He was 13 to 39 last year from three. He's someone that can that sets very good screens, and I could see him more of a pick-and-pop guy than he was at Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt, most of his threes were wide open on the perimeter. A lot of opponents left him open, and he was able to knock down enough shots to have a decent percentage at 33%. I can see Carolina using him a little bit more in a pick and pop mode, especially because he rolls really well to the basket. He rolls well to the basket. He catches the ball. He finishes in the lane. He draws fouls. And he's someone that if the, if the shot's not there, he doesn't force it. He kicks it out. So let's look at his stats because the kicking out thing, he's a guy that doesn't, rack up a lot of assists, but he keeps the ball moving that leads to assists. And that's one of the things that I really found very interesting about his game, that you can't just look at a at someone's uh, college stats, uh, sportsreference.com college stats just to get an idea who a guy is. you got to watch him. And I like the way he kept so many balls alive, the way he kept the ball moving offensively. 
giving the the offensive of possession some vitality and forcing defenses to move quickly. There's a lot to say about that with, that never ends up in the box score. Okay, so his numbers. 12.3 points a game, 6.3 rebounds, two and a half offensive, one block per game. He was someone that, in, in my opinion, like I said, 6'8", place 6'10", maybe even a little bit longer at times. But I think he's a guy that you can operate around if you have length at the four, like a Jalen Withers, or if you run a Jalen Washington with him. They're very, very different players, so they can complement one another. I don't think you're looking at Van Lubin as being a guy that you build your offense around, like in many respects they did with Armando Baycott. I think Van Allen Lubin is a guy that fits into what you want to do offensively, and you can run a ton of stuff with him on the floor because he's capable of doing enough different things and because he's an efficient player. If you get the ball into the post to him, it's not going to stick. There are times where he will size up the situation and he'll take a dribble and, and take a 12-foot jumper. It's a little slow developing, but he's also sizing up the situation. There's not indecisiveness in that in that case. I think he's trying to create the look, and sometimes guys will do that. I also think on the defensive end of the floor, you know, he runs a he runs the floor pretty well. He rotates pretty well defensively. I think you can run some traps. You can run some scrambles and things like that because he will be someone that in the back of the defense can rotate and react pretty well. Now, again, he's six foot eight. He plays six ten, in my opinion, which basically makes him 6'10". And there have been a lot of teams that have advanced and gone very far in the NCAA tournament and won national titles with someone like him at the post. And he's better than some of the guys that have been at the post. Baylor did it a few years ago. Didn't really have anything etched in the post. I mean, won a national title with seven of their top nine guys, 6'5 or smaller. And, it, and one who was 6'8", didn't play a ton. One that was 6'9", was a wing player. You can do it. You can compete for championships. Don't look at just the simple 6'8 there. He plays bigger than that on both ends of the floor. And I think that that's an important thing to hammer home here. And I'm going to say it over and over again. I'm going to keep pounding that in because people are concerned about his height. But height doesn't mean anything. I watched a lot of Coleman Hawkins film. And I think Coleman Hawkins is a really nice player. But he's 6'10 and plays about 6'7. Would you rather have someone like him in Allen's spot, in Van Allen Lubin's spot, or would you rather have a 6'8 guy that plays 6'10? I think because of that, Van Allen Lubin fits UNC very, very well. He's a good player. He's going to make the Tar Heels better from where they are right now. He's going to blend in well. He's not someone that's going to come in and shift how Hubert wants to do things. In fact, I think he may enhance how Hubert wants to do things. Hubert's full vision of what he wants to run, I think, may come out more with someone like him on the floor than perhaps either people that they've had or they would or went after or people that the fans wanted them to go get. So because of that, Van Allen Lubin fits North Carolina. Is this all in the portal for UNC? I don't know. I can't say that. David's looking into it right now. I'm sure there'll be some intel on the board by the time this video is posted. So to cap, recap, Van Allen Lubin, six foot eight, two and thirty pounds from Vanderbilt, 12.3 points, 6.3 rebounds, two and a half offensively. That's an important stat here, too, because they lost, Carolina lost a lot of offensive rebounding, and he averages a block shot per game. He's a nice player. He's a real nice piece. He's not Armando Baycott. He's not Brady Manick. He's not Jonas Adu. He's not Coleman Hawkins. He's not uh, any of those guys. Ugano uh, uh, Onyenso from Kentucky. He's not any of those guys. He's Van Allen Lubin, a unique player. And that's one of the things I like about him. He's a basketball player. And I think Carolina fans are going to like him too. 
If you're excited about Van Allen Lubin joining the UNC basketball program and what he can bring to the table, go ahead and click like. Or if you're excited about the Tar Heels adding more talent, because they have added more talent, regardless of what you think, they've added more talent to the roster. Go ahead and click like on this video. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Tell your Carolina friends we're here. Not enough UNC fans know about us. And by the way, if you have a business and you want to be a part of the THI community, we are looking for advertisers. If you want to get involved with THI, we can help your business grow. You can help us continue to put out more and more content like this and the other stuff that we do. We've had several uh, advertisers that have been with us for a long time that have had a tremendous experience with us, but we have space for more, especially on these podcasts, all the different pods that we do. And we are looking to enhance our resources and help out businesses, especially ones that are Carolina friendly, because you're going to reach out to a Tar Heel community. So go ahead and give me a, a DM or an email. You can get that act. You can find all that stuff. Twitter DM is probably the best way to do it, but you can find some of my, uh, some contacts, ways to get in touch with me. Otherwise, let's talk about you becoming a part of THI and us helping each other out. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you get updates every time we upload, which is often. Thanks for stopping by.